everyone and welcome back to Catharsis Inc. So today I'm going to be doing a thrift store haul. I found some really amazing things for my witchcraft practice, some things that match my home decor aesthetic, and then some other things that were right up my alley. So without further ado, let's hop right in. So first up, I found this really cute jar, and I believe it's a honey jar. It's got the little door here, and then it has a little dragonfly, but it's got a cork topper, and I thought I'd use this for my in-home apothecary. I can put some herbs in here or anything that I forage. I can also put that in there. You could also use these for moon water, and then, of course, for your kitchen witchery, you could use it for honey as well. But I thought that was really cute, so I picked that up. I also picked up, I'm not really sure what this would be called. I think maybe it's meant for a candle, which is probably what I'll be using it for. And don't mind the dust, I haven't cleaned off anything yet. But I thought about putting this on my altar and using it for candle magic. So if I'm using different herbs to dress the candles. Everything is going to stay contained in here. But I just thought that would be really resourceful. So I picked that up. The next item I found is, I think it's a candle snuffer, which I'll probably use it for that as well, even though I already have one. But also I thought it would be good to use as an apothecary scoop as well. So I picked that up. And then the next item is this beautiful lamp. I love it so much. It's so pretty. And it's one of those kerosene lamps. So you can take this off of here and fill that with kerosene and then actually light it. So I just thought that was so pretty. It actually looks like a genie lamp. It's so cute. I love it. I thought that went perfect with my aesthetic. Next up is another type of candle holder, but I like this one because it has this little handle here. So if I wanted to hang things from it, like dried flowers or any type of utensil that I'm using on my altar, I could do that. So I picked that one up as well. And then... Next up, I found this, I think it's meant for a cookbook, but it's so pretty, it's got birds on it, so you know I had to pick it up. And these are little weights to hold the pages, but I thought this would be good to hold my Book of Shadows on my altar. And right now, it's kind of like a deep brown color, so I might actually end up painting it either black or gold but I just thought this was so pretty and it definitely matches my aesthetic. And then next up, I found this really cool set of photo albums. So it actually looks like books. So when you take them out, and it looks like they've never been used because they actually still have the styrofoam in them, but the inside looks like this, so it's a flip up. But I thought these would be really good for maybe kitchen uh, witchery if you wanted to do recipes in here or even some type of notes for your witchcraft or information about different flowers or crystals or herbs. So it would be like a reference guide. I thought that would be a really good idea. But I thought this was so awesome. It's one of my favorite finds that I found this time. So I'm really excited to put that into use. Next up, I found some gold taper candles. And as you can see, they're kind of beat up. They're worse for the wear, but I actually want to use these in my practice. So I'll be burning them anyway. So, you know, it really doesn't matter. I'll be adorning them with herbs and oils. So I picked those up, thought that was a good deal. Next up, I found this uh, fire poker holder. And you might be wondering, what? the heck did you get that for your fireplace is fake <laughs> but I actually had another idea for this in mind since it has this little hook here I wanted to use this to help um, hang flowers from to dry 
Right now I've been hanging them in my furnish room and I end up getting petals in there and then have to clean it up and it's whole ordeal. And they're hanging off of the light switch. So it wasn't an ideal situation. So I thought I would get this and I'll actually show a video here of how I've been hanging them. And not only is this resourceful, but it also makes for beautiful decor. Even if you have flowers, you know, drying on it, I think it's still very beautiful. So I picked this up as well. So now let's move on to some books. You know, most of my hauls, I end up hauling books in them. I absolutely love to read. I'm a writer. But this first one is actually an adult coloring book, and it's the New York Public Library Coloring in the Lions. I thought this was right up my alley. The pictures are absolutely gorgeous. Let me show you some of these. I love them. So it says that it's actual artwork that's in the New York library. And when I went to New York, I've actually been to New York a few times. I actually visited this library and it is, it is so beautiful. I absolutely love the New York library. It's huge. The ceilings are all painted and absolutely gorgeous. And then the back cover looks like this. So if you ever get a chance to go to New York, definitely visit the New York Public Library because it's definitely an attraction you won't want to miss. Next up, I found a book called The Sisters, The Saga of the Mitford Family by Mary S. Lavelle. Then I found one called The Witches. Suspicion, Betrayal, and Hysteria in 1692 Salem by Stacy Schiff, I think it's pronounced. So I thought that would be a good one to read. Then I found one about the Holocaust. And this one seems like it's maybe for young adult because it's from Scholastic, but it's called A Night Divided by Jennifer A. Nielsen. So I picked that up. Then this next one I'm gonna be using for my witchcraft practice and it's 101 Amazing Uses for Cinnamon. I thought that would be a great uh, resource book for that, but it has different sections here. So nutrition, beauty, health, and home. And it gives you different recipes, so thought that would be really resourceful. This next one is a memoir. It's called Sunlight on My Shadow by Judy, I can't pronounce it, Le Leah Yatard, maybe? A Birth Mother's Journey from Secrecy to Renewal. So my two favorite reads are definitely memoirs and anything dealing with World War II. So this will be right up my alley as well. Then this next one is called The Lightning Keeper by Starling Lawrence. And this looks like it has to deal with the electric age in America in 1914. My favorite era is the 1920s. So anytime that I can find uh, historical fiction novels like this, I definitely pick those up. I really enjoy those. And then next up, I found some gooseberry patch recipe books. I, I grew up with these. My mom had them when I was younger, so they're really nostalgic for me. This one is called For Bees and Me. So I picked this one up. And this one looks like it has some really cool ideas in it. Like the content says, the potting shed, helpful garden hints, Simple Garden Pleasures, A Bouquet of Ideas, Kissed by the Sun, Garden Themes and Such, Remember When, Sunny Garden Memories, Homegrown and Made by Hand, Easy to Make Gifts from the Garden, Pamper Your Skin, Herbal Beauty Potions, 
outdoor living, backyard entertaining, and then it gives you some recipes as well. So that seems like it's right up my alley. So I'll definitely be interested in reading this. Then I found another gooseberry patch, and this one is Welcome Home for the Holidays. So I picked this one up, and this looks like it might be for fall and Christmas because it says celebrations of harvest. So the homecoming, tips, traditions, and seasonal gifts to make, grand harvest buffet with all kinds of recipes for that. And then it has a whole entire section for Christmas as well. So I'll definitely be using that this year for the holidays. And then I also found this classic treasury fairy tales book. It's really thick and the outside is velvet. I love that. But in here, what caught my attention is it has a whole sections with witches and warlocks. So I'm really interested in reading through this. It even has daring deeds, monsters and mischief, tricks and mishaps, bad beasties. So it's got all kinds of different fairy tales in here. So I thought that would be really interesting to read. Maybe the kids will even sit down and listen. Probably not, but that's me hopefully thinking. <laughs> And then I also wanted to throw in these last few items. I stopped into Burlington and Aldi's and I picked some things up. So first up, I got this 14 pack of three by five canvas panels. I really want to get back into painting. So I thought these would be really cute to do, you know, some small projects with. And then also at Burlington, I found this Ashley Woodson Bailey 16 note card pack and it looks like it's all florals so you pull this little drawer out here and then the note cards and the envelopes are in here so here's what one of them looks like and then it's blank inside so i just thought those were really pretty and then the next two items are from aldi's so first up, they had all their Mother's Day cards on sale. So I think they were like 50 or 70% off. And I found this really cute one with the camper. So I had to pick this up for my journaling. I think this is for, it's, it, it's meant for a wife for Mother's Day, but I'm just gonna use it for the, the front picture here for my journaling. But I thought that was super cute. So I got that. And then the last thing for Aldi's is this word search and it has over 130 puzzles to solve. And I loved the cover. It's like a faux leather. And of course it's got this mountain uh, scene on it. So I just had to get this. Look at this. This is absolutely beautiful. I think when I'm done doing the puzzles in here, I'm actually going to use this cover for a journal. I thought it would make a beautiful journal cover. So pick that up. But that is my entire thrift store haul. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, definitely give this video a like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks guys. Bye.